Doctors usually give women fertility medications during IVF to mature multiple eggs. Is it better to have more eggs? Tune into this episode of Infertility TV to find out. The eggs sitting in your ovaries right now are immature eggs. Normally, only one egg matures each month. This means that you have one chance that this is a healthy, good quality egg, one chance that it will be fertilized, one chance that it will develop and grow into a healthy embryo, and one chance that it will implant into the uterus to produce a pregnancy. Chances are pretty good that with only one egg, it will not get past all of the hurdles necessary to produce a pregnancy. Ultimately, you only have to have one healthy embryo to produce that pregnancy. Now, let's say you have 10 eggs and eight of them are mature eggs, five of them fertilize, and two of them grow and develop into healthy, good quality embryos. With 10 eggs, we have a much better chance of finding the good, healthy embryo that we want. So yes, if you're doing IVF, getting more eggs is better than having fewer eggs. This is the reason that women who tend to produce fewer eggs, such as older women or women with poor ovarian reserve, get pregnant less often. It's a numbers game. If getting 10 eggs is better than one, wouldn't 100 eggs be better than 10? In theory, yes, it would be better, but we run into some problems. Women who mature a large number of eggs in response to fertility medications are at greater risk for a problem called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, or OHSS. Women who develop OHSS can develop serious medical complications. While these complications can usually be treated, it is better if we could avoid OHSS in the first place. So the best IVF doctors will try to come up with some middle ground, get enough eggs to increase the chances of finding some healthy embryos, but not so many that a woman develops OHSS. This can be a tricky balance. The infertility TV bottom line, it is possible that one egg can get you pregnant and it's possible that 100 eggs won't. But in general, the more you get, the higher the probability of success. You just have to find a way to do it safely to keep your risk for OHSS low. And you need to be doing a few other things to maximize your chances for IVF success. Learn about them in this playlist. Make sure you like this video first. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. Click the link in the description if you would like to become a new patient. Or just subscribe for new episodes of Infertility TV Weekly. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.